Welcome to Simple and Savored with the Bald Guy Simple Haircut. As always, we're staying with the theme. And we've been doing soup season for weeks and weeks and maybe a couple months now. And, um, you know, I've always thrown this in the mix. This is chicken stock. I've used vegetable stock, so all kinds of stock. And it's usually, well, it's always a quart, so four cups. So I want to really give you some tools around not having to buy this. Organic, okay, got it. It's usually two, three, four, five dollars a quart. So can add a lot to your budget. Uh, but we buy organic vegetables anyway, so I wanted to um, just show you a couple options. Instead of buying this, let's throw this out. Let's look at just straight vegetables. And um, the simplest, so we're gonna play with this. And with cooking, it's really, the ingredients change. So different carrots, different celery, same water, but the amounts change. And really look at giving you control because it's all about you and cooking to what you like. So what we're gonna do tonight is make vegetable stock. And we don't eat a lot of onions. Onions don't make Tanya happy, let's say. And so celery and carrots are just such good flavor. So let's look at creating a quart to two quarts. And we usually, for the two of us, make a quart of soup and that feeds us. But um, really making this a condensed, so it could be two, but it could be four quarts or uh, eight quarts. So two, essentially two meals, depending on the vegetables, depending on the kind of the dilution of it. So we're gonna make a really condensed stock and then see how much we can make. So join me on this adventure and I'm gonna turn the pan on now. We're gonna start the timer and see how much, how long this bad boy takes. But it really comes down to, you know, we can make a quart or two of stock or three or four. You just multiply this out depending on the vegetables you have. So I'm gonna start with three, three stalks of celery and three carrots and see what that makes because you know, as a, as a cook, I've got to really look at variety and options because everything's always changing. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just chop the celery up. We're gonna saute that and bring out a lot of flavor. Remember, don't cut your fingers off technique. Curl them under, your knuckle is on the knife. So you're, and I have cut the end of my fingers off before, so. I speak from a lot of experience that this is what you want to do. So I'm going to throw a little olive oil in the pan. And Tanya is out doing horse riding lessons, so I don't have a production crew tonight. But we're really going to keep this simple. But talk about options. You could throw a rosemary in this. You could throw a garlic in this. There's a lot of things, depending on what you like, that you could throw into this. But I'm really cutting pieces small. And this is kind of the batch concept where let's cook a batch of stock that you can throw in the fridge, you can throw in the freezer and pull this out to save even more time. Because time is a commodity here. I'm gonna stir that around a little bit. So I'm gonna cut this into really thin pieces and you don't have to. You could throw this all in a crock pot on your way to work. So a lot of times I'll, I'll think about what I'm making tonight, but what can I make tonight while things are cooking that I can have ready to go for tomorrow? Because it's all about saving time for you and the ones you love. So what we're gonna do is essentially saute this up. So we're at about two and a half minutes. I'm gonna add a little salt, and I usually use kosher, kind of a combination of kosher and sea salt. I like the uh, 
minerals and everything that sea salt brings in, but I like the way kosher salt enhances the taste. It's, it's different. It's kind of interesting that different salts make such a big difference. And so we're going to let this go for a couple minutes because um, essentially sauteing things brings out, enhances the flavor. It caramelizes the sugar. Carrots have a lot of sugar and uh, celery. I have just fallen in love with celery. I don't know what I did before without celery in my life in the last couple of years. Celery just has so much flavor. It's so green, it's so crisp, it just, it just makes things pop in my mouth. And it's kind of like if you ever, uh, as a kid, Pop Rocks was the craze for a while. You're throwing Pop Rocks in, your mouth's coming alive. That's what I really think about, you know, food, is let's make your mouth come alive and take a deep breath and just savor that moment. Um, the, the mouth um, has so many sensories that make life really good. So enjoy them while you have them. We'll be back when this is sauteed. And then um, in the meantime, while this is sauteing, uh, once this hits that point, I'm gonna add a quart of water and then we'll season it with just salt and pepper and see, depending on the carrots and depending on the celery, if we can make two quarts. So essentially two sets of stock for two meals. And you can just pour it right back in the containers um, or into a Ziploc bag. These store in the fridge for a week or two. So if you have two uh, things of stock, you're making stock one night and making two dinners later in the week, or you can throw it in a Ziploc bag and throw it in the freezer and pull it out and it'll be ready to re and ready to go to really whatever you wanna to add to it. If you wanna make a sausage stew, if you wanna make a, a potato stew, if you wanna make, you know, whatever soup that you want, um, a stock is a basic wonderfulness and uh, doesn't cost you two, three, four bucks. So we'll see you in a bit. Okay, we are back. The vegetable stock has been simmering and just look at that. <sighs> this reminds me of, the smell reminds me of walking into my grandma's house. There was always a humidity and a, a cooking aroma that was going on. Grandma Pauline, she rocked. She was amazing. So we're gonna take a look. We're not gonna take a look, we're gonna take a taste of what this vegetable stock feels like. So we're essentially making four cups or equivalent to one container. And let's see what this does. Mm. That is so clean and crisp. So a couple ways you could do this. You could essentially strain off the carrots and celery and just use the stock because it's flavor in itself and I added a little salt earlier. Or what I do a lot of times is just throw this in the blender, um, either a high speed blender, just a regular blender, and it really bumps the flavor a lot. So what I'm gonna do with this, essentially add a couple teaspoons of salt. You could add rosemary to this, you could add basil to this, you could add oregano to this, but this is just like the base core of a wonderful Oh yeah. So another option, you could add another quart to this. So you can do this and have a really pretty intense if, and like I said, I always use a blender and, and I want the fiber, I want the nutrition, I want the flavor. So it's, it's really up to you. What do you want to do? Um, the stock looks kind of dirty. So if you like a clean, clear stock, use, use vegetable stock out of the store. Uh, use chicken stock, beef broth, whatever. But um, I love the hardiness of this. And then the next soup I'm making is a uh, white bean and kale. 
variation on Robin Takes Five cookbook uh, recipe. So I'm going to be using this in the next recipe and uh, just wonderfulness. So a lot of options. You can add this and make another uh, quart, puree it, strain it, whatever you want to do. And I, I think this is a good baseline to create a lot of other soups that you want to do, however you want to do it. And um, you know, the beauty of cooking is it's all up to you. What, what's your taste, what's your flavor, what do you like? And I can sit here and tell you what to like, but that's bogus. So, you know, as always, simple, easy, healthy. What's good for you to put in your body? Because if you're putting good stuff in your body, your body reacts and it, it, um, it likes it. You know, food is medicine to be real honest with you. So, you know, put good food in you. You know, as always, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Share this with friends that are, if they're stressed out, if they're doing the commute, if they're rocking the 40 plus hours a week, um, this is good place to start to kind of bring you back to center. And as always, you know, be nice to you because you're worth it. See you in the next video.